Good day, Grade 3 learners! Welcome to our lesson for Mathematics 3, Quarter 2, Week 7, Day 2. Our topic for today is Subtraction of Numbers Using Expanded Form with Regrouping. Before we begin, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you! Activating Prior Knowledge Write the expanded form of the following numbers. Here are the correct answers. Lesson Purpose Intention To subtract numbers where both numbers are less than 10,000 in expanded form with regrouping. Lesson Language Practice Everybody will going to read the Lesson Language Practice. Developing understanding of the key idea STEM. In today's lesson, we'll focus on subtracting numbers less than 10,000 using expanded form. Problem 1 4,169 minus 2,637. 4,169 is what we call the mean when. And 2,637 is what we called the subtrahend. In expanded form, 4,169 is expanded as 4,000 plus 100 plus 60 plus 9. 2,637 is expanded as 2,000 plus 600 plus 30 plus 7. It is important to align the values by place value because this helps us subtract each place value accurately. Ones place. We will going to subtract place the ones place. 9 minus 7 is equals to 2, followed by the tens place. 60 minus 30, that is 30. Here is the hundreds place. 100 minus 600. At this point, can we subtract 600 from 100? No, we cannot because 100 is smaller than 600. Note, the set of whole numbers does not include negative numbers. So, 100 minus 600 is equals to negative 500. It is not allowed when working within the set of whole numbers. What should we do? We have to borrow 1,000 from the thousands place and regroup 1,000 into 10 hundreds, leaving 3,000 in the thousand place. How many hundreds do we ha have now? We have now 11 hundreds or 1,100 in the hundreds place. Can we now subtract 600 from 1,100? Yes, we can. Thousands place. Finally, we can now subtract the thousands place. 
3,000 minus 2,000 is equals to 1,000. Add the differences from each column to get the final answer. Therefore, 4,169 minus 2,637, the difference is 1,532. Deepening understanding of the key idea stem. Problem two: five thousand one hundred ninety-eight minus one thousand three hundred four. The expected answer is step one: write the minuend and subtrahend vertically, placing the subtrahend below the minuend, and ensuring that the digits in each place value. Are aligned. Step two: Write the minuend and subtrahend in expanded form. Five thousand one hundred ninety-three is expanded as five thousand plus one hundred plus ninety plus three minus one thousand three hundred four expanded as one thousand plus three hundred plus zero plus four. Subtract the numbers in each column, starting from the ones place and moving to the left. Regroup when we did. We start first from the ones place. Look at the following is illustrations to be your guide, followed by the hundreds and the thousand place. Step four. Add the differences from each column to get the final answer. Therefore, five thousand one hundred ninety-three minus one thousand three hundred four is equals to three thousand eight hundred eighty-nine. Here is problem three. Eight thousand forty-one minus five thousand six hundred thirty-seven. Here is the expected answer. Look at the illustration or the picture for your reference. The difference of this equation is eight thousand forty-one minus five thousand six hundred thirty-seven has a difference of two thousand four hundred four. Making generalization and abstraction. How do you subtract numbers with regrouping and expanded form? Step one: Write the minuend and subtrahend vertically, placing the subtrahend below the minuend and ensuring that the digits in each place value are aligned. Step two: Write the minuend and subtrahend in expanded form. Step three. Subtract the numbers in each column, starting from the ones place, moving to the left. Regroup when necessary. Then add the differences from each column to get the final answer. Evaluating learning. Subtract using expanded form. Show your solution and final answer.
Here are the correct answers. Great job today everyone! You listened well, shared your thoughts, and work hard. Keep up the good work. Always remember to count, read, learn, and have fun. See you next time!